Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are adding anhydrous to a couple of our fields. Uh, we're taking care of this 32 acres right now. And then we got another field by the farm that we are going to add anhydrous as well. You're going to notice the Case IH. This is a leased tractor. We leased it from the co-op. Um, it costs us a little bit of money. But we decided to lease it with the implement and anhydrous tanks. Um, this is something that's new to our farm, so we're right now we're just leasing. It doesn't cost a whole lot to lease the implement and the tanks. The tractor was a little extra. We could have used one of our tractors, um, but I did wanted to try out this case. So right now we're just doing the headland pass on it. Everything seems to be working. Um, our gallons are going down. We are adding to some areas. I have it on auto, so I think it's just adding at the rates that we need in some areas. Um, but we're not doing all of our fields. We're doing this corn field that we had, and then the one by the farm. Like I said, we're going to be doing that one. And then the rest will end up probably just taking the plow out and plowing them over. So The soybeans, now them fields will end up just, just doing a light disc over it. Nothing too crazy. And turning them over um, with the corn stalks you always want to kind of plow them um, you want to get it deeper in there and make sure everything's cut up and so that's what we're going to do once we're done here so we went down almost five percent and we haven't quite made it all the way around yet so i think we're going to have to probably we have extra tanks right there i got the ford parked on the side of the road um, so we leased basically four tanks two trailers from the co-op so I figured if one is empty I can take it to the co-op fill it up downtown and then we can have a buddy hop in here and keep it going once I get the headland passed down it won't be so bad and I'll be able to do it but being with this field especially on the edge here on this side um, there's not much of a turnaround compared to the other side so you can definitely you got to be careful with that we actually will probably come through and do another headland pass on this side just because if we hire a worker we want to make sure that they don't go off in the ditch um, we actually had some is issues harvesting corn in here we had one driver go right into the ditch and we left them enough room but well sometimes that happens i guess but yeah so this one hydrus is new to me so i'm kind of playing around with it um I guess we're going to be using it on the farm here. Basically a cheap fertilizer. Well, this wasn't because I had the tractor leased on it, but if I just had the implement and the tanks, it wouldn't have been as bad. But Yeah. So we're just going to keep going with this. And we are going to be selling some round bales too. Them, them corn stalks that we round built in last episode, I'm going to be loading them up on the trailer, and we're going to be taking them to town and selling them here in a couple hours. So we're not going to be just doing anhydrous. Like I said, we'll have somebody take over this job. I just want to do a couple passes and, and make sure everything is going good before I release it. But we're hoping we can get a lot of tillage done this fall. It'll, I mean, the less we got to do in the spring, the better. So hopefully we can get quite a bit done. We'll see time-wise. I mean, it'd be a nice to get it all done, which I'm sure we could. We just slow down time on this game, but we're not going to do that. That'd be cheating. I do like this case though. I like that you can have the monitors in here. That's more realistic to me. You know, especially having them on the side like that, like John Deere, you have them down below. You know, a lot of the tractors that I've seen or been in, the monitors are on the side here. So I do like this tractor a lot. They're 93% in the tank. We haven't quite gone up and down yet, and we're just going to basically split the field. 
I'm going to start from probably right here. Just go down, back and forth um, with it. We're going to finish this field probably, and then I'll get the other field started and have somebody take over from there so I can get them bales loaded up and get another tractor started on another field. The more the merrier. Like I said, we're not adding anhydrous to all of our fields. Just a few that we think needs it. All right, so we should be good enough to turn here now. So we're gonna go back to that middle piece. And uh, start from there. Don't need my flashers on. Turn them off. Right. This ain't quite the middle of the field, but we'll get this small piece done here in this corner. I think I'm going to set up GPS just because GPS helps out a lot I'm going to set that up real quick I'll be back because I might struggle with it for a minute because it's been a while since I used it ready got your steering figured out should be smooth sailing from here Alright, I think we're going to skip into a time lapse here. We're going to finish this field, then we're going to hop over to the farm, and we're going to start on that field. We'll probably end up hiring somebody to do that, and then we're going to do some round bales. So we'll catch you guys when we start doing some round bales.
All right, so we got all of our anhydrous in the ground. And we are now going to load up these bales. I was going to do it. I was going to have somebody come over and take over the tractor. But we currently didn't have anybody, so I had to finish it myself. Which is okay. Right now it's about noon. Well, we started about 8 o'clock this morning, so not too bad. We are done. I'm going to hook up to a trailer right now and grab the skid steer. I'm going to load up them bales and take them to town. Alright, we'll grab this. We'll use the pallet forks. We'll load this up. I gotta feed cows. We gotta do chores a little earlier this afternoon. So I'm just gonna feed them, load up the mixer with the uh, silage, and we're gonna get them fed. All right. All right. Start loading these up. We are gonna leave the tractor and then hydrous tanks here. Co-op is gonna come pick them up. Now that we're done. These are our corn stalk bales that we did. So we got the extensions out just in case I need them. Definitely probably don't, but Pallet forks, they work pretty nice, especially with round bales. I like using them for loading bales. Oh, gotta get the camera adjusted here. Oh, man. Sometimes it's not easy loading bales on the game. A lot easier in real life, I can tell you that. Gonna put that on the side like that. That'll be good enough for now. Uh, don't I doubt we're gonna get them all on this load. Let's get we'll see. I guess I can't double stack them. I guess very high because I can't reach. So I just figured I would just take a couple loads. No rush. We were also gonna start some tillage up as well that's not going to happen now so typical farm things happen things change constantly uh, just because I don't have any help right now I am just going to be doing this right now I got to do chores take care of the cows and all that so field work is going to have to be on hold which is not a big deal We got the springtime, but it's just nice to get that done. I mean, we'll go through and I'll end up tilling up what I just put in for anhydrous in like two or three days. Let it sit there for a couple days at least, and then I'll go through it and till it. I'm gonna adjust this bale. So yeah, we'll definitely do that, but. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have to come back for a couple of those. I should have just leased a flatbed for the trucks and did it that way. Alright, I'm going to get this truck turned around here quick. Alright. Oh, we might be able to get one I thought on here. We'll see. I was looking at a Kubota skid steer. They had it auction here the other day. I'm going to look at maybe buying that. But end up going for more than I would want them to spend. And nothing wrong with this new Holland. It would be nice to have a track 
one, but they are a lot slower though. But they're a, they're a little bit more horsepower on the track one. They ride rougher, I believe, too, so. Yeah, I should have brought the Kubota over there, over here, and would have been able to stack them too high at least. And, but I might be able, with them extended, be able to push it on there. We're going to experiment with this. Let's try one deal here. Make sure the one risk here. Try pushing it maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Heck of a load here. All right, I'm going to finish loading these, and I'll get back with you here in a minute. Well, we're able to get 15 bales on this trailer, so. With the extensions on there, that definitely helps. Doesn't look the best, but. It'll work. We're going to take these down to McGregor, and hopefully be able to sell them for a decent price. We'll have one more load after this and see what that'll give us all right we made it down here and we just sold them 15 bales and we made 33,000 off them bales which is really good so the, the corn stock bales really paled it off that's really good i mean that's i didn't never expected that so that's we're gonna go load up the rest of them bring them down here and we'll be over 200,000 in the bank just by getting us through with some bales. So that's pretty good. Pretty excited about that. I was expecting, you know, maybe 800 a bale or something like that, but it was quite a bit more. So, all right, we're gonna head back to the farm and load up the rest. All right, we just dropped off them bales there. They made a total of 71,000 off them corn stalk bales. That was not expected. I had about 2,000 per bale. About 2,100. Which is pretty good. So now we're going to head back to the farm. We're going to do chores. So we'll catch you guys in a minute. Alright, we're going to back down to the farm. Fire up the 4955. Feed our straw, and then we are gonna feed him our TMR. Let's get the motor here.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video here. We got our anhydrous in the ground. We have our cows fed. We sold some bales, made quite a bit of money off that. That's going to help out. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.